Okay, we are getting ready for the Ice Age! Woohoo! Hello, all the way from Siberia, Russian Taiga. Yes, we are here and I'm inviting you to come and build something very, very special. And this time, it ain't going to be a dome. It's going to be a beautiful vault, but with slightly curved walls. We are going to build the tiniest earthship in the world. <laughs> with the front face greenhouse, but in a geodesic wooden form, with the geothermal tubes that are going to get the heat out of the earth so we can build for minus 58 Fahrenheit. This greenhouse dome is going to have aquaculture systems as well as food growing systems, all designed to tap into the heat of the earth, as well as the sun, which will warm up the mass and provide the warmth back during the colder months. And of course, we'll be building using our favorite brick method on the left, a little three meter dome structure and on the right we'll be building a Cal Earth Super Adobe partial dome. So not a full dome but actually a partial dome so you can see how that is done. So we'll build the tire foundations because this allows us to build on agricultural land. Tire foundations like the earthships do not use any cement and that's the one condition that we have in Russia to be able to build on agricultural land not using cement in foundations and the reason that they kind of have to use cement is because the earth moves during freezing times and some parts of the earth gets pushed out i mean you folk would know those living in canada and northern america so you have cracks in your walls because of all this earth movements but the tires are a bit elastic and they're so wide that they allow you to build without the use of cement. And on top of the tires, we'll continue with the bags and bricks to complete all three different types of structures. So you will learn how to build the Roman dome structure, so bubble geometry, just like Kajar from Dome Guy has taught me. You will learn how to build a lancet arch geometry from Cal Earth, and you will learn how to build a vault with a ferro cement roof like the earth ships do so we're able to harvest our water at height and store the water in a water tank that does not freeze in winter so we are going to be building the exact model of the ocean we are designing this for the coldest climates on the planet minus 58 fahrenheit and i'm taking great care to do the right excavation so we're able to pull in the geothermal heat and all of this will be ready for you to see when you come on the 18th of August. But guess what? This build is going to be happening next to one of the largest communities on the planet and one of the oldest communities. Because they're building their own schools, they're building their own master craftsmen workshop. They have over 2,000 master craftsmen who make <coughs> from baths without glue out of wood to glass blowers. Um, metal blacksmith they have so many master craftsmen and they're teaching their own children they are growing all of their food and they're doing it in taiga at minus 58 fahrenheit and i just had to see it and i fell in love with the community we're going to have a sunday off where i will take you to various master craftsmen workshops as well as a few homes and we'll get to hike in nature swim in rivers and do a a swim down on the rubber boat on our journey down so we'll have a full fledged packed holiday relaxing style and you're going to love it because you're going to meet the people you know we're going to have some of the youth helping us um yeah we're doing this as a community effort oh and continue watching so you can see some of the stuff that we'll actually be learning from foundation to the form work out of wood to constructing our own walls, to constructing our own brickwork, everything from ground up. You will be able to build this home once you get to your own land anywhere on earth. And we're designing it for the harshest climates, so anything from here on will be a breeze and a walk in a park.
So um, I came here knowing nothing about building, never having worked with my hands. And uh, after this, I mean, you can read all the theory you, you want, but you have to actually come here and do it to see how everything stitches together. And the, just a little practical nitty gritties of building a structure like this, especially because we're doing some experimental stuff, some groundbreaking stuff. We have a sandbag dome over there combined with an acre dome over here. It's, uh, it's new stuff, so a lot of challenges, and that's exactly what you want at a workshop. Uh, you want to learn as much as possible in as short time as possible with every penny highly recommended we are going to learn how to construct two types of dome homes as well as a constructed wetland which will treat all the gray water from your bath and shower the one structure is a super adobe home with barbed wire reinforcement on every single coil it is so strong that I actually don't get a Wi-Fi signal inside my Super Adobe Dome. And the other structure is an Aircrete Dome, all based on sacred geometrical proportions for the foundation. So we're actually going to make our own Aircrete bricks using a foaming agent and a little bit of cement. This will be all mixed up and poured into forms. And then we'll cut them up just like a giant cake and stack the bricks using a compass arm. So I'm going to teach you how to build foundation, how to create the bricks, how to stomp the sandbags, how to insert the windows, how to build around the windows. There's some tricky eyebrow situations there on the sandbag dome. So we'll actually go with larger bags around the eyebrow and eave it's called and create an awning which will stop the water from coming into your window and then as we get to the high levels it gets quite tricky because the bricks have to be actually shaped and the sandbags also have to be stomped in the very specific ways because the core building in quite a bit and unless done properly they can actually fall right in and of course we'll be doing the compass work where you're going to learn how to use two types of chains for the super adobe dome because it's a different types of geometry it's a landset art geometry so we'll use a compass at the door a little chain and a compass in the center which will marry onto two rings and that's how you get this shape and then of course on the acre dome is just one compass arm at belly button level and that's what's making the dome pop out and then when we get to the top we're going to be preparing for the skylight installation for both the super adobe and the acre dome let me show you inside so here i am sitting in the super adobe structure it is such a cozy room it's like a mother's womb i'm actually sleeping there every night now for two months i've completed the wooden floor um, natural paint oxides and the skylight and obviously the two-week workshop it's impossible to finish the entire house to completion but we will be able to build a structure and the reason that i'm so confident is because earlier this year i've had 15 students from all over the world and we completed the structure to this level as you can see on the screen it took three more days to complete the brickwork and we would have done it at the workshop we just had a little bit of weather issues <laughs> and a little bit of generator issues because i'm on solar power so you're going to get to learn and experience what it is to build your own home and of course everything that we do not get done you will have in video training you see, I've traveled the world and I learned from top ecological masters such as Mike Reynolds, Jeff Lawton, John Todd, John Jevons, Ibrahim Karim from High Geometry and many, many more. And when I came back to our site, this experimental site in Johannesburg, South Africa, I've actually built and experimented with every single eco-technological feature that I have learned. So I've built a biochar filtration and a ferrocement tank the story goes on you can watch the video on our abundance of water course and i've recorded two courses the living eco dome home masterclass and the abundance of water masterclass so as a gift to all our live students i will be providing you with our full comprehensive living eco home masterclass where you're going to learn how to take this shell with the waterproofing the black stuff on the edges here and full painting plastering flooring skylight installation electrical installation door manufacturing 
and much more. So this course will actually give you all the tools you need to complete the home to the level that you're seeing right behind me. And of course, if you haven't taken all the notes during the workshop and need to refer back to the formulas and mixing ratios, it's all going to be in the course as well. So you will be able to watch the course and actually remember, oh yes, that's what we did, that's how we did that. So I look forward to be seeing you at our two-week live training workshop where we're going to build this beautiful dome home together. I'm going to have... I'm going to find it difficult to put in words because um, it's that high, really. I'm, uh, my emotions are going since I'm here. Uh, the human experience is just absolutely great. Um, the exchange, the fact that we're coming from all over the world, the fact that we don't know each other and everything is going so fluidly and uh, the energy is going up. And it, For me it's much more, and I think for all of us, it's much more than just building houses. We're kind of creating now the world we're dreaming of. I could nearly cry. <laughs> it's that important, really. Uh, voilà, I'm loving every second of it. Right. Thanks, Elosha. Now I feel confident and capable to build one of these structures myself. Um, so yeah, thank you. And also just the, all the awesome people that we've met and been able to network with around us from all over the world all walks of life um, that's been an amazing experience and thank you very much for allowing that to happen what i learned here i would never manage to learn maybe i would need like few hours, a few years of my life and we just uh, within two weeks we're getting so much knowledge and so much new experience that it's really uh, the value of this is really amazing it has been very interesting in terms of being it new, being it fresh, no one's doing this. This is the first of its kind here and the first of its kind in the world in terms of the merging of the technologies. It's new, it's fresh, there's a lot of research and development, which happens to be perfect for really getting down to it and knowing what we are making and uh, refining it, honing it and having the opportunity which quite frankly, once it's perfected, you don't have any more. So yeah, grateful for this opportunity to explore and actually work things out and think for myself. What can I say? Here I am, building a home, using power tools, flinging mud, concrete, working with wood, all sorts of things I've never done my whole life. Um, which is amazing. Uh, amazing experience for me, growing and having now the confidence to go and maybe build myself a little structure. In terms of how the course has been presented, um, I've had a great time, I've been learning a lot. Alosha is very, very knowledgeable about a lot of different things. Beautiful energy, great to work with them. Um, and he's attracted all these amazing people into this workshop which I've made new friends, uh, connected with people in many different ways and I know that these people will be a part of my life going forward in some shape or form. Come join the workshop, enjoy the cooperation. So many different people, so many different skills, ideas, creating together, coming up with solutions. Perfect. Alosha's guidance is awesome, always energized, always getting the crew going. And I love the fact that you're pushing boundaries. What I'm going to learn from this community is just, it's going to push me forward. It's the most, probably the community, the people, being hands-on, having the chats after work. That's been the most important thing, I think, of this whole experience. Finding like-minded people and working together as a team. It's been amazing. And, uh, work with Alosha has been really inspiring. His willingness to expand beyond his own, even his own horizons is really cool. It's inspirational in that sense. Yeah, I'm really excited to use the skills I've learned here and apply it back in the States where I'm from. Using the sun in a very clever positioned insulated environment like in the airships do this is what we need to focus whilst basing and designing our homes on sacred geometry so they are in harmony with the 1.618 the golden section it's so important so let's do this so let's build the homes that are going to nurture and hold us into the future and beyond with their own oxygen producing gray water cleaning plants 
and air filters, a full lockdown. So should something happen on the planet, these homes are going to be able to protect you and your family like the Noah's Ark. And talking about Noah's Ark, the Vatican Pope said to Putin in 2001 that the rebirth of Russia is going to happen from the mountain Sinuha, which is actually within 20 mile radius where we're going to be building. I don't want to lie to anybody, it is hard work, you know, it's not for uh, the faint of heart. Um, but it is amazing and that's that's the reward and not only just built, putting up the building which is phenomenal but meeting people from all over the world um, you know Aloysius from Russia I'm from USA but you know there's Argentina Brazil uh, Australia the Netherlands Germans and the whole, Nepali of course and the whole world is united in building this that's the way I look at it. it's a microcosm of that and it's uh, it's a great experience and uh, <laughs> a great adventure. Hi, my name is Jakob Mehrens. I'm from Germany. I'm 19 years old and I participated in the workshop from Alosha. I really enjoyed it. Ooh, <laughs> really uh, hard work. But in the end, look at this. It's beautiful. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Maria. I come from Brazil. And I'm really happy to be here in Nepal doing this workshop, uh, the Dome Workshop. Uh, with Alosha and like these amazing people from all over the world. Um, it has been really fun, a uh, lot of work to do, but still like always laughing, always having fun with other people and um, yeah, I just can't wait uh, to build my own. <laughs> Alosha as a teacher is uh, really fun. Um, always like has a solution for the problems, uh, which is really important in building uh, houses and uh, yeah it, it has been a great time and I'm really happy I could be part of this experience especially in this beautiful place in Nepal <laughs> thank you bye thanks to Alosha we created this dome behind me um, I wasn't really like uh, seeing that happening in that short time in that short period and uh, yeah, we're almost done this time. We will still finish it afterwards, but uh, it helped a lot. Alosha motivated us every day. My name is Peter. I'm uh, hosting here the workshop of Alosha uh, in the land of the Medicine Buddha in Nepal. And you can see that uh, behind me we have the, this amazing thing that happened to, to be raised here within a couple of days only. Uh, I think uh, particularly for myself, uh, with my 62 years of age, that I'm stupid enough to attempt something like that. Uh, it's, been, it's been wonderful, a great holiday. I would say it's been also very strenuously uh, physically. I had a good workout and I think everybody else here also. Alosha has uh, communicated uh, you know, unendingly and continuously uh, much of his construction wisdoms and others too. too. And I think all of us uh, have a big package to take with us and uh, we will certainly construct more of this uh, buildings around here with the help of uh, Alosha's participation. We have a good group of people that are now here on site that are able to manifest the constructions and, and with the help of the online course so we feel secure to attempt uh, uh, the, f the further constructions here.
so here we are on the last day of the workshop and it's been a really really fantastic build and yeah thoroughly enjoyed working with folk that actually don't know the language don't know english so i trained up six nepalese to build in this awesome and easy construction method um, and we have four, a team of 14 people that actually pulled this off in 12 working days so this is the beauty of manifestation into physical realm until then have a fantastic day you won't